happened there? That was Anton Deck. Oh. So they must be doing something about Britain's Got Talent. We're going to see mm. them in just a minute anyway, because uh, welcome back, by the way. Last night, Britney Spears impersonated to a couple dancing with their hands. Did you see that? can only be Britain's Got Talent, really. Britain's Got Talent! <laughs> sensational tonight. She was that magical roundabout, that show I used to watch years ago. You are so cute. The performance is about as limp as your python. You, right now, are the ones to beat. Dean, I absolutely love you! <laughs> You're very over the top. You look great wet. There were other dancers you didn't put through instead of this kind of thing. I have an issue with it. Stephen's <laughs> here. Well, Simon was a little bit... kind of bit cross with some of the acts that they'd put through while he was away. Yeah, do you, you know... know last, on, on Monday, he didn't seem to... He seemed to like everybody. Last night, he was a bit more snitchy about it all. Well, I think on Monday, it was fairly much um, a one-horse race, really, with Ronan. And everyone was happy, there was only one buzz. Well, there's two buzzes, but for one act. Mm. Um, so every, everything was, like, fluffy and light. Last night, it was a tougher call to make. And Simon made it very clear that actually some of the acts shouldn't have been there, which you'll see just here. <laughs> it's over to you, Simon. I think you're going to have to do better than that if, and it's a big if, if you make the final. It's the whole thing which is totally mad. Uh, you, you, you singing in this weird hat, I don't get this at all. OK. I really, really don't. I don't know what you three were thinking either, genuinely. You're very sad. You're like a sort of a singing bloodhound. The performance was about as limp as your python. Nobody would go and watch and pay for you doing that on a table for two hours. River dance is a huge spectacle. That is you doing that. And it's, it's boring. See, I, I, I tend to disagree with them. I was mesmerised by those two. I, I thought they were very, him. very good. And it was just... I hate tapping anyway. It's because maybe I do it quite he a lot. He taps on tables. And I actually, although it was very clever, after about... A minute max. I went, right, see, lovely, thank you. What else do you do? So... Well, I said last night on the show that in the studio it was amazing. It really was. You got goosebumps. Yeah. It was just brilliant. Look how synchronised it is. I know, is. incredible. But at home, obviously, it didn't seem to work. It's a real shame. Because it they were so and nice. They were lovely. They were lovely, and you can tell they must practice for hours and hours and hours. But, you know, I have to say, I was with Simon, and that didn't do it for me. I know we spoke yesterday about Lorna Blitz. Yeah. It was in the press. She got three no's at the auditions. Why was she in the semi finals? And it turned out last night, it was all revealed that it was all down to the Hoff. And this is what she did. There's another prime example of why Simon got annoyed, because he just went, you brought her back, and she's still not that good, really. No. But it's just a shame. But Has she suffered a bit big nerves? Yeah, I think so. And I think also she's such a big fan. Don't forget, this is the girl that shaved her head off. Yes. Not shaved her head off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit she, extreme. And thankfully she got it back for the show. <laughs> she shaved, shaved her hair off when Britney shaved her yeah. hair off. Extreme um, fan. Big, big mm. fan. But you, we were talking earlier about Herbie, weren't now, we? Now, Herbie I love, and, and Herbie came in here the, during the audition stages. Lovely, lovely guy. And he just, to me, seemed off last night. I don't know whether it was nerves or whether it was his interpretation of that song was so different. Well, when you hear him, you just go... I don't know whether he had the confidence last night. But, look, he didn't make it, and... Uh, it's, it's a real shame, I think. Are we yeah. going to hear him, or is he just whispering through that? No, you couldn't that? hear him, but if you saw it last night, well, oh. he, he didn't get through anyway. I'll tell you who was on tune last night and who absolutely stormed it were the boys, Lou Bounce. Yeah. They were amazing. They really were. Oh, they're, okay, they're, they're, coming, they're yeah. coming, me first. But this was after a rocky start, of course, wasn't it? Yeah, at the auditions, um, at the auditions, they, they didn't do that well, to be quite honest. But tonight, last night, yeah. they were incredible. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah 14, 15, yeah. but uh, they got the public vote and they are through to the final as well as G. Good. Lovely. And then, um, of course, we had two and a half men who didn't get through. A lot of people liked them, so yep. that was a shame, wasn't it? Real shame. Um, tonight, what can we look forward to tonight? Well, tonight, uh, there's a mixture of impersonations, there is a circus act, it's a whole variety night once again. Yeah. And uh, who's going to go through? Who will be our next two? You'll see later we'll on. Find out. Okay, well, this uh, next couple made it to the final three uh, the magicians, Karen and David. <laughs> Well, how impressive uh, was that? But sadly, Karen and David, not impressive enough for, for the judges. What extra were they looking for from you? Do you know what? We couldn't have done any more. It was the fastest we've ever done it. And, yeah. you know, we just... We tried so hard to, you know, bring magic back. You know, it's sort of our famous saying at the moment. And obviously, the judges don't really like magic. And well, I don't know. Simon's always said he hates magic and he's yeah. never... But he, he actually we had We converted him last night, which is the best thing we could have done. I think, I think the show in the past has been quite anti-magic and uh, the way magicians have been portrayed on the show in the past. I think that changed last night. Well, I mean, I thought your performance was, was breathless, uh, really for this reason, <laughs> because when I'm, when I'm watching you there um, doing this and how on earth you, you change positions with each other and then you get out of that, um, that case there uh, full of water, um, death-defying, really, truly. It's petrifying. <laughs> How confident were you that you were going to go through? Because obviously you, it was Jean that, you know, you were against. How confident were you? You know, she was a key mm. player, admittedly lovable, but in reality, seeing this spectacular stunt, you must have been confident. Well, we were quite confident because we got a great reaction in the studio. We got a standing ovation, obviously the judges' comments as well. So we were confident going into sort of the, uh, the judging at the end, but at the end of the day, it's down to the public vote and it's down to the judges. That's the nature of the show. We did our best. I wonder what it is, though. I wonder if Magic ever will crack it. Will we ever get a magician well, to you the speak, final? You speak well, yeah. as a dabbler yourself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but what's the dabbler? I can't enter. That's the problem. Yeah. Not that I'd win. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Do you think? Do you think there is a there is a magic has had its day? Or what, what way do you feel? I mean, for instance, as a present, could you get a magic show on telly now? Well, to be honest, magic seems to be coming back. You know, when you think Penn and Teller have got a new show coming up on ITV, you've got a magician on the BBC. You see up to date magicians like David and Karen. Um, yeah, I think it absolutely is possible. So where do you guys go from here? Big setback last night. Your dreams are not fulfilled. But I mean, can, can you use this to your advantage? Well, our, our main plan, actually, there's a. it's great because in the UK we've got FISM, which is the World Championships, and it's great because they're hosting it in Blackpool uh, next year, and we're hoping to actually represent the UK in the World Championships for Illusion. Well, gosh, I'm sure gosh. you'll do a terrific job for us because it's been amazing watching you, and I'll great to meet you. Give it a good you. try. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Good luck, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank, Thank you. And, uh, we'll be watching you Glad you lived Stephen. to tell the tale this morning <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It could have been worse, all things considered, you know. When you, when Simon you think said about you look great wet. Well, and that's, not many that's people a can say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't go away because we've got uh, EastEnders, Yusuf, and Zayn.